Hi, I'm Miss Jessica and welcome to my book nook. In today's book, we're going to meet Ray. Ray dreams of flying through the sky, but Ray is a snail. And last time I checked, snails don't fly. Hmm, this is going to be quite an adventure. <laughs> and then we get to meet the author of the book. So stay tuned. Okay, let's read a book. Learn more about this book and how you can purchase a copy in the description below. Pilot Ray, The Tale of a Snail, written by Jana Broca and illustrated by Svetlana Lyuta. In a wild secret garden not too far away lived the smallest of snails and the snail's name was Ray. Ray wasn't alone in the garden so green. He lived with his brothers, Steve, Francis, and Dean. Ray's brothers were known for their skills far and wide. They would boast about them with their chests full of pride. But what about Ray? What was special about him? He was slow, not creative, not strong, and too slim. All you are is tiny, his brothers would scream. But Ray's superpower was dreaming a dream. He wandered all day how it feels to fly high like a bee or a bird through the blue endless sky. <clears throat> One day, he announced, I'll be flying up there and you will be gazing at me in the air. I will be Pilot Ray and I'll fly far away. None of you care about me anyway. <laughs> oh, forget it. His brothers were laughing out loud. Oh, you'll never succeed. Snails can't fly like a cloud. <laughs> when Ray found a wrapper, he hoped he would fly. He folded an airplane and pushed it up high. But Ray was too slow and he failed to hop on. So he watched it take off. Soon the airplane was gone. At noon the next day, the air filled with heat. Ray climbed on a berry, all juicy and sweet. He chewed and he chomped. Well, he ate a whole lot. <laughs> Soon he yawned and lay down, then dozed off on the spot. Ray was easy to spy, lying there on the red, snoring peacefully <sighs> in his strawberry bed. Ray didn't notice the sky turning black, nor the crow swooping in to have snail for a snack. It wasted no time and it grabbed the poor chap. And that was how Ray quickly ended his nap. Ray was scared for his life because once he had heard that things don't end well in the claws of a bird. He yelled, help, oh no, help. And he made such a noise that it woke the whole garden, including the boys. Steve, Francis, and Dean looked up straight away. This was surely the final goodbye for poor Ray. They had tears in their eyes, held them back with all might when they watched little Ray disappear out of sight. Quietly, Dean sighed. <laughs> oh, I'll miss that snail, though. You can't choose your fam, but... He's still our bro. <laughs> High up in the air, things looked terribly bad. Oh, I won't make it, thought Ray, and that made him so sad. Why did we waste time with the fighting and such? Why didn't I say that I love them so much?
with claws wrapped around him as sharp as a knife, he decided to cherish his last moments of life. He breathed the cold air, smelled the late summer breeze, and looked down at his home, at the creek and the trees. <gasps> oh, what is this thing that is catching my eye? It is white and it flies right below in the sky. <gasps> Little Ray made a plan. Now I know what to do. He first held his breath so the crow had no clue. Then he wiggled and jiggled, ignoring the pain. I can't give up now. There is freedom to gain. Soon he slipped out through the claws of the crow. Down, down he fell, and the crow didn't know. He had left there behind in the crow's prison cell, nothing less than his house, his beloved green shell. Ray fell down with a grin, fireworks in his brain. Then he dropped with a plop on his own paper plane. The goggles in place and his scarf wrapped up tight, Pilot Ray flew back home in an elegant flight. Right above the green garden, big circles he flew. He spotted his crew and he yelled, I love you! Steve, Francis, and Dean looked in shock at each other. Then they cheered loudly at the return of their brother. They greeted him warmly and jumped for a cuddle, then huddled together to kiss and to snuggle. And gently they whispered, We need one another. You are still so tiny, but a great little brother. That Ray lost his shell, they'd remember forever. He was known from then on as the first slug pilot ever. Pilot Ray, The Tale of a Snail, written by Jana Proka and illustrated by Svetlana Luta. Let's meet the author. We just finished reading Pilot Ray, The Tale of a Snail, and we have the author here with us today. Everyone, this is Ms. Jana Proka. Hello. Ms. Yana, thank you so much for being here. It's a pleasure to be here, I'm so excited. Well, I just want to tell you that I loved your book. It was such a fun adventure. That makes me so happy to hear, thank you so much. So what was your inspiration behind writing this book? My main inspiration for all of my books is that I want to whisk children away on an adventure that they won't ever forget. So I'd like to inspire little kids to dream big and I went for the most unlikely hero you can imagine, the tiniest snail in the garden. And if this tiny snail, Ray, can achieve his big dream of flying, just imagine what you can do. What would you want your readers and your listeners to learn or gain from this book? So there are basically two subtle, uh, very uplifting messages in the, in the book on the one side. Um, it's about believing in your dreams and in yourself and never giving up. And on the other side, it's about appreciating what you have when you have it. Yeah, that's so good. Do you have any other books? I have a few more, so you can see them here behind me. I just published a sweet dinosaur book. And I have a diversity book. And a book for cat lovers. Oh my goodness, you have so many <laughs> books. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> Miss Jana, what else do you do during the day? So during the day, um, despite, you know, looking after my two boys, I'm actually a scientist. So I'm standing at the bench, pipetting away to make the world a better place. Ah, that's amazing. She's a scientist. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love that we can be anything. She's a scientist and a writer. Thank you so much for joining us today. And thank you for being a part of my world. And thank you for writing this book. Thank you so much as well. It was so much fun to talk to you. And for you adults out there, if you want to purchase a copy of this book, the description is in the link below. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, turn on the notifications, and hit that thumbs up button. This is Miss Jana Broca, and I am Miss Jessica. And I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.